welcome to episode 42 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. The last episode hit the sub boxes. YouTube did its job. Even more insane, amazing news. We play MK Dons next. What are we saying? Dunn is a 76 overall striker. Casey Holland is apparently on the bench. Let's replace Boateng with him. He has to play, doesn't he, Rory Hood? Lynn Pendry's on international duty. I am devastated. Only player on international duty for us is Kirill Bondarchuk. We are good to go in the highest profile MK Dons against AFC Wimbledon Derby. Maximilian Jackson and Maximus Durante building beautiful teams just because someone did something in the incident surely sorry is a little bit easier than taking two teams to the Premier League. You'll be pleased to know that due to requests, I have taken off the trousers of Boris Stiapovich. We're not giving up on him just yet. Eric Melville decides to run that out of play. And not only that, people like the Keith Lemon look on Callum O'Flannery. The guy who customised him. Oh my... Well, Enzo Bardi, you absolute legend. The guy who customises Callum O'Flannery has messaged me and said put it back to normal. So instead of doing that, I am going to allow you guys to have the final say on what Callum O'Flannery should look like. Should it be this new hairstyle or his old hairstyle? I'll put a poll in the video. Balls in, Bright Chato doing some defending for once. This is a very, very tight and competitive nil-nil. Doesn't do any favours for either team trying to get promoted from the championship. There's a ball. Enzo. Enzo. <laughs> Enzo Bardi. Oh dear, Purrington, he's not gonna chase him. God, Dunn's quite quick. Purrington, oh, give it a rest. That's Rory Hood with another goal against his former club. Shocking by Purrington, who got a cross done and didn't take the ball. Purrington's having a nightmare against him. Enzo Bardi saves it. I'm doing it. Boris Stiapovich on for Obby Jackers. Schneg on for Tyrell Purrington and Bright Chateau. Marvellous Billy out. I'll put Beckich on the wing. Sod off, Rory Hood. No, and again, Rory Hood hits the post. He's our worst nightmare. I cannot get it clear. Oh! Terribly, terribly frustrating. It's our darkest day. And we've had dark days. Tramia stuck eight in against us. It's another one. Casey Holland, probably man of the match. Not my AFC Wimbledon team. They should know the importance of this fixture. And I don't think it's been drilled in. Total embarrassment. Should be ashamed of yourselves. The aggression just wasn't there. Enzo Bardi. First goal, he should have come for it. Perrington second goal, he should have just took. Either took, done out completely, or took the ball. It's funny how one game changes everything. Because I don't want to look at this team. I'm sick looking at this team. It makes me feel physically ill. Just lost all my respect. And he has to build it back. AFC Wimbledon against Millwall. Go you back to the keeper. Right. No Enzo Bardi! Short ball to Barrington from the free kick. We got Adam Nichols. At Calamo Flannery. What a goal by Calamo Flannery! That's what I'm talking about! I really do think Maximus Durante laid into his players after... That absolute stinker. Calamo Flannery really is trying to drive this team ahead. Right, Chateau drives ahead anyway. And now we've just got three defenders. Purrington against two. Terrell Purrington wins the ball. Better. Well, that is an atrocious first touch by Adam Nichols. It's given Millwall an equaliser. He's gone. He's gone! He's gone! Callum O'Flannery, run! Ball in! Obi Jack! Oh! We look for Callum O'Flannery. We see Bondarchuk. He is onside. Kirill Bondarchuk. Yes! Come on! Wimbledon 2. Millwall won. And I have no idea what is going on with this team. The reliable have become the unreliable. Just incredible to see. 
kind of gap that's opened up between 5th and 6th. There's quite literally no way we're getting promoted automatically. Jan Albrecht's new team. Oh, and he's in the reserves. I cannot justify playing him. Hull City against AFC Wimbledon. I want to see a big game from Enzo Bardi and Obi Jackers. Oh! Good say. Well done, Enzo Bardi. Yes, mate. That 60 overall winger back is going to have serious trouble keeping up with Callum O'Flannery. Here comes a long shot. No. Oh! Close down, Enzo Bardi. Let's go, mate. A conquo. Oh. Not at a cross goal. He'll take the lead. A conquo. Right then. Fantastic ball to Obi Jackers. Big chance for Wimbledon. We'll set it up for a conquo. Slips it underneath the keeper. That's more like it. Bekic not giving this guy any hope, so he back heels it. And that is absolutely wonderful. George Honeyman with a sweet goal. Obi Jackers too wide to do anything there. Django Swinkles waiting for a conquo. Woo! He blasted that one. Ah, great save again. Enzo Body, you are the man. You are the man. We see this in slow motion. He is just insane, this keeper. Nah, Purrington. No, Purrington. He's out. He's lasted like two games in the first team. I'm devastated for Enzo Body, who just pulled out a fine, fine, fine performance when we needed him to. Full time. Hull City have beaten AFC Wimbledon. I'm not very happy. I'm not very happy at all. Something needs to change. And I might have found the answer. I'm really sorry, Dalla Borbekic. But after that, the captain of this team is Enzo Bardi. Django Swinkle's training injury out for seven days. Maximus Durante may have been shown a light in that last game with an insane performance. Enzo Bardi takes the captain's armband. It's AFC Wimbledon against Middlesbrough. It's a new era. Enzo Bardi's era, the cluckening. Oh, I've made a mistake. Terrell Purrington shouldn't be here. Oh, it's just wide. Ultimate disrespect now. Purrington out of there before the six minute mark. That should be a big kick up the backside. Marvellous. Bulliard. It's like a wave of Wimbledon. I like it. Yes, marvellous. Ah! Now watch this. Enzo body move out the way. Bang! Yes, mate! Yes! Yes! Absolutely! Oh! Yes, then! Yes, mate! You have just seen the world's greatest goalkeeper. No one has seen the likes before. He was an outfielder growing up. The only problem is that his youth team didn't have a goalkeeper. They needed a goalkeeper. It's a penalty! Everything is changing. Eric Melville won it. Eric Melville takes it. It's Eric Melville for Wimbledon. Yes! Melvinio! Danger on the wing. Oh, and somehow the goal scorer has gone around Vieira Nan. I'm not too sure about that. Really problematic defending. It's Stiapovic. But not that one. Oh, go on then. Obi Jackers is through and he's got to score. Obi Jackers opens his body up and that is wonderful. AFC Wimbledon 3, Middlesbrough 1. Obi Jackers seems to be back with the two shots and the two goals. Your final game of this episode, Stoke City against AFC Wimbledon. Enzo Bardi's Barmy Army. We need attitude. We need discipline. Stoke City... Very good in this league. Great start to their campaign. Well up there in the table. Django steps in. And he's sent a beautiful one to Obi Jackers, who might be free here. Obi Jackers! Oh! Woo! Mate! Obi Nation is back! You see, he's pointing it in 
places where goalkeepers are struggling. Full stop. Any goalkeeper would struggle to stop something like that. So Jacob Yerinan taking up a very positive position. A conquo to Obi Jekers. A lovely finish again. He's just picking spots out. So long as we give him chances, Obi Jekers will keep on scoring in the Premier League. He'll keep on scoring in the Champions League. You don't often get someone as quality as that finishing and well that what we've just seen there was defensive disaster class bright chateau oh no bright chateau why we had him pinned right up the field there's bright chateau he's lost it again no calamo flannery has to get this delivery right oh perfect it's obby jacker's hat trick go wild big corner kick to defend there's a Conquo at the front post. A Conquo again getting his toe in there. Offside. Well done, Mikel Conquo. Moving Dalibor Bekic to left back and bringing on Terrell Purrington has shored up the defence. We are moments away so long as we keep it tight here. Shots coming in. Oh, just wide. That'll be full time. Stoke City 2, AFC Wimbledon, and the beautiful Obby Jackers. He scored three in three. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of You Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.